Did you know that Utah has bison? This is incredible. This is like exactly what I was hoping for. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. If you are new here, my name is Hawken and I make videos of all sorts of adventures. And today I'm at one of Utah's most famous state parks, Antelope Island. So I made that drive behind me this morning, came on over to the state park and we have one goal today and that's to film as much wildlife as we can. Specifically, I'm on the hunt to find some bison. So even before reaching the state park, I had to stop along the side of the road because look at all these birds. They were moving around looking in the sand for food and all sorts of things. Just listen to them. It was so cute. How could I not? I just had to snap my first couple of pictures of the day, which I was really proud of. After spending some time with the shorebirds and gulls all over the causeway, I continued along the road to Antelope Island State Park. Now my first stop was a visitor center and I looked at various statues, mounts, and read up on a bunch of information about the bison just dreaming of getting those perfect pictures. Now Antelope Island is super unique because it's an island in the middle of the Great Salt Lake and it's only accessible by driving over the causeway. I've actually been to Antelope Island before. I hiked to the top of Ferry Peak, which is the highest point on the island. We didn't get really any close to bison the last time I was here. They were on the other side of the island, which is only accessible by foot. So I'm really hoping we can find them today. Guys, I found the bison. So within a few steps of walking out of the visitor center, I could see the speckles off in the distance, but there's a big herd off to my left and there's a few behind me that some birds are landing on. So I'm gonna do my best to get a couple shots of them. This is incredible. This is like exactly what I was hoping for. There's three bison off in the distance and these birds just keep flying around and landing on top of them. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out the rest of the larger herd behind me now. The herd with the mountain backdrop behind it was just beautiful. Seeing wildlife is so special every time and I just soaked up every moment of this experience that I could. Remember those three bison from earlier that were off on their own? Well, they started making their way closer about to cross the road, and I got some of my favorite shots that I've ever taken. Well, I think I fulfilled my buffalo quota for the year. That was incredible. I'm gonna continue driving around the island and see what other wildlife I can find, hoping maybe for some bighorn sheep or maybe some pronghorn as well. And maybe, maybe, maybe I'll find some birds of prey. Cross my fingers. Okay, I'm heading towards the southern part of the island now. There's a bird of prey pretty sure, and the tree's behind me, so I'm gonna go see if I can get some good shots of it and tell what it is. Well, I couldn't ID it in the moment, but some friendly people from the Birding in Utah Facebook group let me know it was a northern harrier. The harrier flew away before I could get close to it, but that's okay, because I continued to look around and find some other bird species too. Okay. 
I was taking a walk through the grasslands you see behind me because I was trying to get some pictures of what I think was a hawk. I spooked a pheasant, almost made me crap myself. It flew off into the distance before I can get any pictures. Overall though, super good so far. Saw a couple different birds while I was out walking through the grasslands. I'm gonna go down the rest of this road, see what else we can find, and then probably call it a day. And lo and behold, farther down the road, our Northern Harrier friend returned. I didn't get any good pictures of it, but I did get some pretty cool shots of it flying. It was an awesome day at Antelope Island photographing bison and doing a little bit of birding. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.